Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with, yet again, more Monster High news to talk about. So, today it's been basically confirmed that Real Drama Wave 1 is going to have a restock. Recently it was confirmed that there would be a Wave 2, speculated to feature the same lineup as the Creep Production Wave 2 because Cleo was confirmed for it, and now it's being confirmed that Wave 1 is going to have a restock. Originally, it had been said that the line would be too expensive to reproduce again, so it wasn't likely, but I'm guessing Mattel has realized, oh, these dolls resell for a lot on the secondhand market, let's restock them, you know? And I also have some updates on Welcome Committee Frankie. So, without further ado, let us begin. So starting off with the real drama stuff. I had originally seen this posted from the You Love It website, but Cleo's Nile went on and confirmed it as well. We got this photo. I don't know what store this is from, but this seems to imply that stores that carried the dolls previously are going to carry them again. So we can expect them to be restocked. But yeah, the Real Drama Collection released way back in 2022, so it's been a while since these dolls came out, and they apparently had a pretty bad release. To be honest, I wasn't really keeping up with how their release went because I ended up getting uh, these dolls sent to me from Mattel. It was a pretty, pretty good day for me, to be honest. It was a pretty awesome day for me, but I know a lot of people really struggled to get this line. Although... I swear Laguna was in stock for a while, because like a month after the release, my mom was like, oh, I just ordered one from Target, and then they refunded me, even though she had just received the doll in the mail. It was weird. I have a lot of strange memories that no one else seemed to have similar experiences to when it comes to this line, but whatever. It was a bad release, and it seems like, hopefully, there is going to be a chance for the release to be done better this time around. So... Claudine was found on Amazon UK, that's why the price is in pounds, with a pre-order date of December 31st. I've heard that this is a placeholder date and that the restock won't happen until much further into 2025, most likely around the same time as the stocking of Wave 2, whichever characters will be a part of it, all we know for now that's confirmed is Cleo. But yeah, um, it's possible that this date is accurate, to be honest. I don't actually know, but we have this to go off of, I guess. It's, again, unknown if the restock is actually going to happen on December 31st. It seems to be a placeholder date, so don't latch on to it too much. But yeah, this line is pretty cool, so I'm glad to see that Mattel is doing more with it. The first four dolls were very pretty. They had super wonky faces, but they were very pretty. It was a really good lineup, really good idea. So I'm happy, I was happy when wave two was announced and now I'm happy that wave one is getting restocked as well. If both of these waves like sell really well, I'm sure we could expect a third wave, which if it follows the um, Cree production release order, that would mean we would get a real drama Toralai. That's right, baby. I'm bringing my favorite character into this yet again. We need this to sell well so I can get a real drama Toralai. Do you know how insane I would go for that? Make it happen. Do it for me. But yeah, I got this um, screenshot of Claudine's pre-order from the You Love It website, and it's not currently known if this doll is available for pre-order still, but she was available for pre-order at some point, and that's where the December 31st date came from. Again, it seems to, like it's actually going to happen in 2025, later into the year, so don't latch onto that date. It's probably inaccurate. And back to Welcome Committee Frankie. So if you guys don't remember, I made a video the other day talking about how everyone's Amazon pre-orders for this doll was canceled. It was super unfortunate because this is G3's and Monster High in general's like first explicit pride doll. We have known about this doll since 2023. Stock photos of this doll were revealed way back in 2023. It, this doll was supposed to come out this year in 2024 and the release just kept getting pushed back and it seems to be continuing to get pushed back. There's also supposed to be a fashion pack, but I'm like 90% sure this thing is canceled. There have been zero updates on it. But now thanks to seeing Mount on Twitter, it seems like Frankie is actually going to release in 2025. Um, this is a very trusted leaker in the community. And they say, guys, they added the ability to make customer service claims for them two weeks ago. They're not canceled. They never added the fashion pack here. So I have serious doubts that they are canceled. I think they mean that the fashion pack is canceled. 
because the fashion pack was not in fact on the website just like they said i actually went on there and checked and i found frankie for myself and they are in fact listed on the mattel consumer support website customer service website this is the website i'm always talking about that you make claims to mattel through when you get a damaged doll this is how you contact them so the doll is listed on here with a release date of 2025 it definitely took a while for this doll to come out it's seeming like they're going to take forever to come out but all hope does not seem to be lost considering the doll has a 2025 release date on the website it's looking like perhaps they are going to see a release and it doesn't seem like they put unreleased products on their website either, because you can actually look up much older Monster High products on here. When I was trying to look up like Welcome Committee, I just typed in Monster High Welcome, so I didn't have to type in the whole thing. The G2 era Welcome to Monster High dolls popped up. They have like a full catalog of Monster High dolls on there. And I looked up unreleased lines like Ghostly Tea Party and Howlin' Hoodies. They did not appear. Quick correction, they do actually show up, but without any stock photos. So, just a little fun fact. But yeah, the fact that Frankie does have stock photos up, and the other G2 products I mentioned did have stock photos attached. I don't know, again, it just seems likely that the doll probably will release. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. This is a very anticipated doll. I've seen most I've seen a lot of people say that this is their favorite G3 Frankie, and honestly, I can see why. This is a gorgeous doll. The black lipstick looks amazing. The outfit is super well-designed. It looks nice. I know some people are sick of the asymmetric pants, but honestly, I, I dig it. I'm, I'm not sick of it at all. I really just like the way it looks. Again, though, rip this fashion pack. It's 100% dead in the water, which is super unfortunate because the pieces were designed to fit all of the dolls. It would have been such a versatile fashion pack, you know? But... You know, there's always losses, and Mattel is convinced that fashion packs are unprofitable, even though the Wednesday one seems to be pretty profitable. But it is it does seem to be true that fashion packs don't sell very well, because MGA... I don't know if they reported this anywhere, but I've heard that their fashion packs for Rainbow High were super unprofitable. Like, that they were shelf-warming, that's why they've been shoving them into so many random products to get rid of them like the new version of Avery's Fashion Studio and those new, like, repackaged dolls that I've talked about on here before. So, most likely, this actually would have not sold very well, which, again, sucks because some of the pieces look fun. But, yeah, we can officially have some hope for this doll. All hope is not lost. And uh, thank you to the person who actually sent me this tweet in the first place. <laughs> Um, they commented on my video about it and then messaged me on Instagram and sent me the screenshot. So, yeah, huge thanks to that person for letting me know, and now we can have some hope for this doll. All in all, we've got some things to look forward to in 2025 between the restock of Real Drama and the potential release of Welcome Committee Frankie. I'm really hoping this doll comes out. I don't think the Mattel customer service website would list their date wrong because the fact that the doll hadn't been added previously meant that their release was not on the horizon. The fact that it is now on their customer service website, and it was right under Young He who just came out, it does seem like this doll was going to see a release. Maybe it was like an automated thing because this doll did seem to previously have a November release because a lot of people's cancelled Amazon orders did actually have a November release date and then the orders got cancelled so it didn't happen. It's unknown if this was like an automated thing that's why Young He and Frankie are both up there. We don't know but we can still have hope. It's there's still a chance you know. As for real drama we don't know when the stock is going to happen but I will be sure to keep you guys up to date because I know a lot of people missed out on these dolls and would like a chance to get their hands on them. I believe that they should cost the same that they did before, so about $27 per doll. Um, Claudine was £30 on Amazon, which Amazon always seems to upcharge international, like, international sites for dolls, like, not Amazon specifically. You know what I mean, though. In other countries, these dolls always tend to be a bit more expensive in other currencies, it's super unfair to international collectors, but that's just kind of the way it is, unfortunately. But what I'm saying is, if you live in the US, the price should be the same. 
And if you live outside the U.S., I'm sorry that you have to pay more than us. That's really, that sucks. So yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, I've discussed everything that I wanted to. So yeah, pretty exciting things here. I never expected real drama to be restocked. As, as I mentioned, you know, like it had been stated previously by the designer that the line would have been too expensive to reproduce, but I guess now Mattel is like, you know what? Let's make some money, you know? <laughs> I almost wish more co toy companies would do that, like restock things that people really want. Cough, cough, the mean girls brats. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Feel free to comment your thoughts. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one.